on ligand names are based on alphabetic order or alphabetical order so let us have one example for this i want to consider cu nh3 taken twice h2o taken 4 plus 2 it is a coordination complex in coordination sphere two different type of ligand present so while the two different types of ligands present when we are going to represent or derive name for that compound there is a doubt which ligand name we have to pronounce first so to avoid that confusion what we have to follow during the name of the given coordination compounds if more than two types of ligands are present inside of the coordination sphere then we have to follow alphabetical order here ammonia is called as amine ligand whereas water molecules are called as aqua ligands amine ligands are present as well as aqua ligands are present hence we have to pro provide name for this compound as di amine because as per the alphabetical order a m first and a q later di amine tetra aqua tetra aqua copper 2 complex the name of this is copper 2 complex and next one the ligands which are present inside of the coordination sphere may be negative charged species or negative ions or neutral molecules in case of in case of negative ions negative ions that means the considered ligand is a negative ion then we have to use O as suffix at the end of the name of the ligand at the end of the name of the ligand for which species if the considered ligand is a negative species then to pronounce or at the time of pronunciation we have to use o as the suffix word for example if the ligand is br minus then we have to pronounce it as bromo the last one we have to use o similarly oh minus ligands are present then hydroxo again o here if it is cn minus then we have to use cyano for every negatively charged ligands during the name we have to use a last letter in its pronunciation as o hence bromo hydroxo cyano are the names similarly in case of in case of neutral ligands the name is as usual the name is as usual that means whatever the name present for the neutral ligand ligand so neutral species or neutral molecule the same name also used during the nomenclature of given coordination compound let us have some examples ligand and its name here water molecules are generally named as aqua water molecules are called as aqua ammonia nh3 is called as ammonia or during the name it is called as amine whereas co capital c capital o for carbonyl and no it is nitrosyl so these are neutral ligands and the names for those neutral ligands next one if 
the metal atom or ion with oxidation state that means the oxidation state of oxidation state of central atom is mentioned after the name of after the name of that atom in roman numerics okay newman romanic uh, numerics in parenthesis or brackets so this is the most important one while we are going to provide name for given coordination compound the oxidation state of central atom must be mentioned after the name of that metal atom in bracket so that must be the numerics must be in roman format so that is for example so many examples just we completed which may regarding regards this uh, concept and one more i will i would like to provide one thing here cu yes cn taken 6 minus 2 or we can consider it as here is 4 and it is minus 2 actually thiocyanate or thiocyanato because scn is a Yes, C N is a negatively charged ligand. Negatively charged ligand. In their nomenclature, for every negatively charged ligand, we have to pronounce it as O. Or we have to use a suffix word in the name of that ligand as O. Then thiocyanato. How many thiocyanato are there? Four. So tetra thiocyanate copper then what is the oxidation state of copper he is 2 so this oxidation state we have to mention after the name of the metal atom in the bracket that must be in roman format and next one sometimes sometimes the coordination sphere coordination sphere will be with negative charge negative charge in such case in such case we have to use Eight at the end of at the end of the name of central metal atom or ion. 